What's up, everybody? This is Squiggy with the Music Experience and Loudwire's Gear Factor. I'm hanging out with the guitar god himself, Mr. Gary Holt. What's thanks, up, dude? How thanks, you for, doing? thanks for thanks for hanging with us, man. What was the guitar riff that you heard that you said I I have this is this is making me want to play guitar? Uh, you know that that's a hard one to say. Um, you know my hero is Richie Blackmore. You know I'm. Mm -hmm. Ted Nugent's one of my heroes, mm. not politically, but yeah. guitar wise, <laughs> one of my heroes, right? Mm. And I'm able to separate the two. Yeah. People go, <laughs> that dude, Gary Holt, doesn't like Ted's opinions. I love his riffs. That's yeah. all that matters, right? We're musicians. <laughs> yep. And uh, I still follow Ted, the guitar player. Because, you know, he was bigger than life to me, you know, as a kid. Before I played guitar, the guy looked like he was like nine feet tall, you know? Yeah. And what they're playing, you know, scat, cat scratch favor, you know? Something like yeah. that. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Something like that. We covered that song years later. But um, you know, like um I love that shit. But you know, Richie Blackman was my hero and like I remember the first time I heard the first Rainbow album, you know, like you know, Man on the Silver Mountain just fing so awesome. Mm -hmm. Tune up for it. Mm -hmm. It's fing awesome shit, you know. When you when you got your first guitar, what what was the first song that you, you felt like, man, I've got, I I I got the guitar, I have to learn how to play this song? God, I couldn't tell you. Um you know, I mean when I developed the ability to actually sort of learn the songs. It was always Rainbow, you know, like, yeah. you know, Stargazer. Yeah. Like Gates of Babylon. Um, you're a part of the ESP family guitar, yeah. of, uh, of guitars now, and, and I love those ESP guitars. I, I love the ESP brand. Amazing. Um, you know, when, when we hang at the festivals and, and you come over, I mean, there's never, that guitar's never not being played. You, you know, the GH600 for an LTD guitar is, it's unbelievable. I still play them live. You, you know, you I know? use one on Angel of Death every night, which, you know, like, depending on how the the current status of my fucking bad back, you know, yeah. going to that lighter <laughs> guitar is awesome. Yeah. And it sounds throaty and chunky as shit. Yeah. I mean, you know, these, these are, you know, the custom shop things and they're, they're amazing. Best guitars I ever owned, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but the LTD is like, I would have killed to have a guitar of that quality back when I was a kid, you know, we used to yeah. hot rod everything, you know, we'd buy, you know, three guitars and make one functional guitar out of it and two backups because this one had a good neck but the body's like basswood or some mm -hmm. shit you know and this one here has got a good alder body but the electronics suck and we just yeah. tear them apart and we take routers to them and shim the necks and do all kinds of shit and what I wouldn't have given to have a guitar that good for that price range back back in the 80s you know when mm -hmm. it's like you know you're either buying a Gibson or or something like that, or spending a fortune on like, you know, a USA Jackson. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm even going back to Fort Jackson, you know, yeah. when it was like an American guitar or, or bust, you know. So thank you so much for taking the time. Dude, thanks for hanging thank out with us, man. Right on. This is Loudwire's right Gear thank Factor you. hanging out with the guitar god himself, Gary Holt. Horns up. <laughs>